We're going to talk about the trailer for Cuties. Sounds innocent enough, but it's actually sick disgusting and nauseating up front i'm going to ask you to please like and share the video and please consider subscribing to the channel it really does help independent content creators stay competitive against the access media and the mainstream media who are either not going to talk about the subject matter within this trailer or worse yet not have a problem with it unlike the rest of human society this film has been around since january where it became the darling of the sundance film festival it even won a direct Pictorial award and it's called cuties and it's about 11 year old girls twerking and it tries to normalize something that has no business being normalized but hollywood and the entertainment industry around the world are going to give it the old college try now you're not going to hear about this in the access media or the mainstream media and if you do it will be people calling us prudes while i'm very happy to be a prude when it comes to this subject matter and no i don't give a damn that this film was directed by a woman i don't give a damn if it was directed by a black woman it doesn't make the subject matter in it okay it will never be okay as much as hollywood wants it to be now we've all heard the rumors we've all heard the denials and no this isn't anything new i know about lolita it's a film directed by Stanley Kubrick. It's been around forever, and I've never seen it because I don't want to see a film covering this subject matter. It was weird enough back then. It's even worse now. And of course, we know about the director, Roman Polanski. Funny thing, Meryl Streep likes him and thought Harvey Weinstein was God. And while we're thinking about that, remember when Seth MacFarlane tried to warn us about Harvey Weinstein a few years ago, and we all had a good chuckle. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. And remember when he tried to warn us about Kevin Spacey in Family Guy, and we all had a good chuckle. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Until a few years later, when shit got real. Well, Ricky Gervais has been trying to warn us for quite some time. He even tried to warn us a couple of weeks ago in this brilliant tweet. Afterlife didn't get nominated for an Emmy this year, but this did. Outstanding live variety special, the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards. That's some conciliation, I guess. So thanks, Hollywood. Oh, and stop f kids. Cheers. While that's hilarious, it's also probably true. Just like Jeff Epstein. Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. Let's go over the definition of the term open secret. An open secret is a concept or idea that is officially de jour, secret or restricted in knowledge, but in practice, de facto, may be wildly known, or it refers to something that is widely known to be true, but which none of the people most intimately concerned are willing to categorically acknowledge it in public. And that's what Hollywood is. There's even a film called An Open Secret. I've seen it. Have you? Cuties just want to dance in first trailer for Sundance Darling on Netflix. Mamanu Ducore writes and directs the French-African film debuting September 9th. Now, I'm sure Netflix and Apple, who were instrumental in getting this film out there, were just falling all over themselves to try to help a black female director. Nothing wrong with that, except when it's a film like this. Again, sick and disgusting. The Sundance drama Cuties is a coming of age story about a girl from Senegal, but her story is a universal one that shows that we'd all rather dance than have to grow up and face the world. Netflix picked up on the inspiring film Cuties out of Sundance from director and writer Mamanu Decore after it won the directing award in the World Cinema Dramatic Category at the festival earlier this year. In Cuties, an 11-year-old girl from Senegal, Amy, tries to escape family dysfunction by joining a free-spirited dance clique named Cuties. The group stands in stark contrast to her mother's traditional values, and she soon becomes aware of her own femininity well beyond her years through dance so they are aware that this is inappropriate and that's an the understatement of the century they are aware that it's wrong well we're gonna go over to youtube where the trailer 
dropped on my birthday. It has 30,000 dislikes. It was at 10,000 when Jeremy did his video. It'll probably be at 50,000 by the time my video comes out. There are some pretty spicy comments on this, so I wonder how long the likes and dislikes will be on this trailer and how long the comments will remain. I can refresh it right now and get it off this picture. That's the only frame I could really show you to kind of give you an idea what's in this trailer. There's much, much worse, and don't watch it. It's, it's not even worth your time. It's bad. It's sick. I got to make sure this doesn't play. 33,000 now. So it went up 3,000 since the starting of this video. Uh, Amy, 11 years old, tries to escape family dysfunction by joining a free-spirited dance clique named cuties as they build their self-confidence through dance now i heard they changed the original description but we have it right here thanks to my brilliant producer lady Gravemaster. cuties coming september 9th amy 11 becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew hoping to join them she starts to explore her femininity and i'm sure they mean sexual and yes, I had to bleep that out because we are on YouTube. I practically have to speak to you in code when we talk about stuff like this. Defying her family's traditions. Yes, I know her family is so prude and conservative for not wanting their daughter to twerk at 11 years old in questionable attire. And it's not just the clothing. It's the clothing mixed with the scenes and how they are shot. Suggestive doesn't even begin to cover it. And again, it's disgusting. It's sick. It's revolting. Here is the poster for this film. And I'm only going to stay on it for a second. And believe it or not, it's the YouTube comment section that's bringing sanity back into this conversation. And let's go read some of these comments. But first, let's refresh it and see how much the dislikes have gone up. So we've got... Oh, it's gone up another thousand. That's good. You're slipping a little bit though. So let's read the first comment. Char free. No, let us not give P to the E to the D to the O's a material to creep on. If Netflix really wanted to give, uh, give light on the hyper sexualization of children, it shouldn't have been a documentary. Canar E. Oh, noes! What an evil mom who doesn't want her kid daughter to dance half naked in a provocative way in front of strangers. The horror. Netflix will remove this 70 year old film because it's offensive, right? Where's the disclaimer for this film? We have a disclaimer for Blazing Saddles and Gone with the Wind, yet this is okay. We are in clown world. Where in the hell is as is clown horn when I need it? The comment section really makes me feel good because it shows that the real people of the world, which are you in the comments, still have a lot of class and care about people in the world, while those nasty, disgusting people in Hollywood don't give a solitary care about none of us all they care about is trying to make money so i want to thank you all in the comments so much for blasting this video presence above all i applaud you i completely agree with that netflix triple x we may be P to the E to the D to the O, but at least we're not ist. I never intended to cover subject matter like this when I started my channel. I used to review television episodes. Then it evolved into covering the good, the bad, and the ugly of pop culture. Recently, it's been mostly ugly. That's not my fault. That's just modern year Hollywood. And you can most definitely file this under the ugly, disgusting, revolting, nauseating, and sick. Listen, I am all about free expression and free expression in art, but there are lines we do not cross, and this is most definitely one of them. Yet Hollywood and the entertainment industry are going to constantly try to normalize garbage like this. This isn't my normal subject matter, obviously, although it is technically pop culture, but it's very important to talk about and raise awareness about this subject. Hollywood trying to normalize the sexual of children. We've already seen that in the media as well. And we know that the access media and the mainstream media are not going to report on it. So I will ask you once again, please consider liking and sharing this video and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you heard. I will see you in the next video and 
thank the maker for the YouTube comment section for, I cannot believe I'm saying this, bringing sanity back into the world. See ya. Nerderotic.com. Please subscribe.